Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. So I have been playing around with some cheap seed beads and I came up with a really cool stitch. I don't know if this stitch already exists or not, but anyways, here it is. This was the little sample piece that I did and it looks so cool. It looks like popcorn. You know the popcorn garland that you put on a Christmas tree? That's what it looks like to me. It's really neat. And then after I did this little sample here, I wanted to see it in a different color and um, my string that I used was really short so I cut a long piece and I came up with this here and this color combo and I used, um, this is called Rainbow Iris Seed Beads which I love. Iris beads are gorgeous purple green blue and uh the rainbow iris is like the best but um it does not show up on camera like it should it really doesn't it, it's so gorgeous so anyways i will actually be finishing this one off in the video i just did the ends here because i wanted to see what it would be like this actually has just a little bit of stretch to it it's not made with elastic you can only make this weave okay i have tried this with different kinds of string material. I have tried it with thread and it does not work. You have to, 100%, in order to get this popcorn look, you have to make this with 10 pound monofilament in order to get this. Okay, I tried different things and it just did not work out. And um, it, it's really cool. Now this is super easy to do. This is like one of the easiest stitches ever. It's easier than a daisy chain. And um, it's really fun but it is kind of time consuming because you're only doing two beads at a time. It's the only thing about it. But um, sometimes I like doing stuff like this, you know. Sit down, watch TV, watch a movie and uh, work on something like this. It doesn't take a lot of brain to do it because it's super simple. So um, yeah. Let's go ahead and make this. You need very little materials. Here's the list of materials you will need to make a popcorn bracelet. You will need to cut 6 feet of 10 pound monofilament. Now, for the seed beads, you are going to want to use the weirdest, wackiest, wonkiest seed beads that you have for this because the weirdest the shape is, the more it looks like popcorn. So um, I have this bag here of 60 seed beads that I got from BB Craft, and there is a mix in here. There's always, you know, when you buy cheaper quality seed beads, I always find there will be some that are like really weird shaped, and then there will be some that are like super uniform. So what I do, as I need the beads, I will sort through them and pick the ones out that I need for that project. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing for this pr project. I'm going to be looking for the weirdest beads. Now I did find when I made this one, I used cheap quality seed beads of course, but I actually had a hard time finding the weirdest shaped beads. I kept finding u really uniform ones. And it was like I should have just had a container on the side and put the uniform ones in another container because it, it was just really weird. Anyways, um, you're also going to want some crazy shaped uh, 11 0 seed beads and um, you're also going to need uh, two split rings or jump rings. I'm actually using jump rings this time because they're stainless steel and they're hard to open so they're really strong and you're going to need a clasp of your choice. I'm using a lobster claw clasp and that's it. Now I'm going to put the list of materials down there below the video like I always do and I will also put a link to this gigantic bag of 60 seed beads. You can get this in a bunch of colors. The rainbow iris here I also got from BB Craft and I think they sell these in like one pound bags. They're very affordable. You'll see it when you go to their site. Okay, so let's get started. This is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so I cut my six feet of ten pound monofilament and I did try this with eight pound and it still did not work. You have to use ten. So I'm going to start by looking for the craziest looking seed bead. This one here is good. I actually really go for the barrel shaped ones a lot. I do try to avoid this shape. See how thin it is? Because these thin ones are likely to break on you. Same with these seed beads here. Like this one, you don't want to pick up this one. Do you see how thin that is? Avoid those. So I got one that looks like a barrel shape seed bead and then I'm going to pick up an 11 -0, and this one here is kind of like a barrel shape. It's big, right? And you want to slide your beads down. Okay. And then you want to go through the 6-0 seed bead, like this, so I'm going in this direction, 
I'm not making a circle. I'm just going to have it to where the 11 OC bead is like this. Okay. Now you want to have a 10 inch tail because you will need to finish this. Put a clasp on it. So let me see here. Almost there. A little bit more. Alright, there is my 10 inches. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to stitching. I'm going to take my string again and pick up another crazy looking seed bead, a 6 0, and then an 11 0. Slide these down. And I'm going to go through the 6 0 just like this, okay? Pass through here. Now, something that's very important about this stitch is the tension. You need to, this to be extremely tight. So I have to hold on to this seed bead like this and pull it down. Okay, so now they're butt up like this. And then again, I'm going to get my end and I'm going to pick up another crazy looking 6 0 seed bead and then another 11 0. Slide them down. Pass through the 6 0 again, same direction. Okay, now every time that I do this, I have to go like this with my fingernail, hold on to the 11 0, and pull my working tail and even sometimes I have to go like this with this hand and pull that tight so that it'll start to twist and in a warp into this popcorn looking garland thing okay again another 60 another seed bead slide them down it'll take a few rows to start seeing the effect but you just got to make sure that it's very tight. Okay, so I'm going through that 6 0 again, pulling my string through. I'm going to grab onto this seed bead, pull this tight. This is what I have so far. Again, pick up a 6 0. Get a crazy one. Get a crazy one. That one's not crazy enough. This one. I want that one. And then a seed bead, slide them down, go through the 6 0. Again, I'm going to grab this with my fingernails like this, pull it down, take my working tail and pull that tight. I'm the right one. There it is. It's this one. Okay. So see that? Now it's starting to do it. Yeah. It takes a little bit of time. Do a few rows and you'll see it starting to twist and look popcorn like on you. Okay. Another 6 0 seed bead again. And then another 11 0. And slide them down. I was thinking about doing this with two colors. But um, I decided to stay with one, which is something I never ever do. I always mix colors, so this is really rare for me. You're seeing it here first. I use the same color in an entire piece of jewelry. I don't think this ever happened to me before. Okay, I did it again. I got this. It's so funny looking. It also kind of looks like a sea cucumber. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but um, I live in Florida and I'm five miles from the ocean and I like to go snorkeling and I go diving and I collect coral because I have this reef tank and there's this little critter he's called a sea cucumber and he is just the coolest looking guy man he's he's pretty cool and they come in all different sizes I've gotten really tiny ones and I got some gigantic ones okay another 6-0 again and then an 11-0 slide the beads down And then go through the 6 0. 
and pull the string through. And again, you have to hold on. You have to hold on to this seed bead like this. Ugh, can't get a grip. Hold on to the seed bead and pull this really tight and scooch this down with your fingernails like that to get this look. Okay? So you just keep going. It's very simple. Keep going and doing this stitch and you'll see it take shape. It's really neat. It's just so fun too. I really like making this. I'm going to show you how to finish this bracelet off because it's probably going to take me a couple of hours to finish the other one. So before I show you, I do want to warn you guys, looking at this here on my ruler, it's at six and a half. And of course, adding the closure and the little beaded loop that I have to do is going to make it longer. But I just wanted to show you that this bracelet, because of how I stitched it, it's bunched up. It does have stretch to it. So you do want to make this on the small side. And I can like really force the stretch on it. So what is that like? It goes down to six and a half, and I could stretch it up to another inch and a half. So um, but you're not gonna want it that um, if you like make it really small and you put it on your wrist, you're not gonna want it stretch it out to the max like that. So um, I think at this point when I because I already added my loop and my clasp, I think it went up to a seven in a quarter or a seven and a half so um you might want to be like where I'm at right now y you want to go to like six inches or six and a half inches with your beading okay so let's go ahead and add the closure now I actually have not done this yet this is the first time I've put it on but I have not knotted it but I think what I'll have to do in order to get it to work um, is pass back through a 60 seed bead. I'll show you. Um, I'm putting on a 60 seed bead cape and then I'm picking up, I think it was seven that I counted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven seed beads, 11 O's, and then a closure. Okay, like this. I'm gonna go through this here. I'm not gonna reinforce this. By the way, I feel like I can't really enforce it, reinforce it, and I think it will be okay. So um, I'm going to pass through this 60 C bead here. Okay, so through the first one, this one's up higher. That means that it was the last one that I did. I'm passing through here now. Okay, and then I'm going to go through this 11 O C bead. So I'm, I'm following an old thread path like I usually do when I finish off a piece. I might need my tweezers to do this. I'll see. Okay, so I got through the seed bead. I'm pulling this down. Now I have to go through this 60 seed bead here. Okay, pull that tight. I now have this. Now what I'm going to do is take and go around my bracelet like this make a loop, pass through it twice okay and I want my knot to fall ugh, right here right below that base this bead in between the two six O's, okay pull that down and then I'm going to take I'll slide this up 
And then I'm going to take my string and I'm going to go through this 6 o seed bead. Pass through here. Now I might have to move that bead out of the way in order to get through. Okay. So I made it just through the 6 0, but I also need to go through this 11. Pull that through, and then I'm going to go down through this 6 0. Okay. And pull this tight. Now, I think I might be too close to the knot that I just tied. Well, actually the knot looks like it's going into this bead. So maybe I could go ahead and tie another knot here. So I'm going to go underneath my bracelet. Make a loop, pass through it twice. Okay, then I'm going to bring this loop up. right here and pull this knot down okay and then what I'll do is I'll pass down through the next 6 OC bead the one that is closest to my knot so it looks like it'll be this one here I'll go through the 11 O come back through and if there's room if the other knots not in the way I will tie another knot or I might have to go through another 6 O so I can get further down the chain and tie some more knots and I think I'm going to tie about four knots and then I'll weave my tail through maybe three three beads or so going weaving when I mean three beads I mean like um three rows which is I'm going through the 6-0 and 11-0 a 6-0 11-0 6-0 11-0 that's kind of three rows and then I'll trim off my string and then I have to go to this side and do the same exact thing and I'll be all done so uh it's a pretty cool bracelet. I really like it, especially in the white. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you post pictures of the popcorn bracelets that you make on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram or Twitter because I would love to see what yours looks like. And also, I was thinking that this probably could be made into a necklace if you wanted to. And I'm thinking, I'm guessing, you might have to use, like... I used six feet. You might have to use like 14 feet of monofilament. I don't know. Maybe. Um, one thing that I did think about is you could make like two bracelets, okay, and have one bracelet on this side and like one bracelet on this side, and then you can have like a pendant down here. So then you would have your loops like this going through the pendant. Just some ideas that I had if you wanted to make this stitch into a, um, necklace so uh i hope that inspired you and gave you some ideas so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when i upload new videos and check me out on my social media sites i'm on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter thanks for watching